The Ultimate Experiment Finding Your Best Note-Taking Method for English Tests Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of effective study strategies, focusing specifically on note-taking methods. This video will be especially beneficial if you're prepping for an English test. We're going to explore how you can assess and adapt your note-taking methods by experimenting with different techniques. So, if you're tired of going through your notes and finding that they don't actually help you, stick around. The truth is, there's no one-size-fits-all method when it comes to note-taking. What works for your friend or a family member may not work for you. So, it's crucial to experiment with different techniques to find what suits your learning style best. When you do find the right method, it can dramatically improve your ability to retain information and score better in your English tests. There are several tried and true note-taking methods you might consider experimenting with. 1. Cornell Method. Divide your paper into two columns. The right column is for detailed notes, and the left one is for cues or questions that summarize the right column. 2. Outline Method. Use bullet points to organize information hierarchically, starting from main topics and branching out to details. 3. Mapping Method. This is a visual technique where you draw a map that connects ideas and topics. 4. Charting Method. Create a table and fill in information as you go. This is great for comparing and contrasting topics. 5. Sentence Method. Simply write down every new piece of information as a numbered sentence. Step 1. Choose a method. Select one of the methods mentioned above or any other you've heard of. Step 2. Implement. Take notes for a week using your chosen method. Step 3. Review. At the end of the week, go through your notes. Are they easy to understand? Can you recall the material well? Step 4. Make adjustments. Based on your review, make any necessary changes and try again for another week. Step 5. Compare and decide. After you've tried a few methods, Compare them to decide which works best for you. Lack of clarity. If you can't understand your notes, that's a red flag. Poor recall. If you can't remember the material well, your note-taking method may not be effective for you. Time-consuming. If it takes too long to make or review the notes, you might need a quicker method. Alright folks, that wraps up our discussion on experimenting with different note-taking methods for effective English test preparation. Remember, the goal is to find a method that complements your learning style. So don't be afraid to experiment until you find what works best for you. Hope this video helps you on your journey to acing those English tests. Happy studying and see you in the next video.